hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel one of the worst thing you can do to yourself or one of the worst thing any country can do to herself is to pretend or behave as if a problem or an issue or an agitation that has been existing before now is not existing you pretend as if it's not there you behave as if it doesn't matter what is growing in rank is growing in fire is growing in exposition is growing in uh, acknowledgement and acceptability and at that is where you begin to wonder how did we get this far and this has quickly brought us to the issue of the indigenous people of Biafra their agitation and now all of a sudden one or two prominent persons are beginning really to talk about this and really if they don't do it now I don't know what it will become in the next few months weeks when the next few days months weeks or even years as the case may be but before we go into the news proper to find out what it is they are now telling the leaders of individuals to do immediately because it's really becoming an inferno we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead Click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Olisa Meto, former spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party, that's PDP, has urged its leaders to look for ways to, of addressing the agitation of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Okay. Meto made the call while noting that most people of the South is identify with IPOB's agitation. If you like, put propaganda to this. The truth of the matter is, a lot of the was hey, a lot of the average Igbo man is looking very seriously towards this issue of Biafra actualization. If you like, behave as if it is not in the constitution. It doesn't take the fact away that the average Igbo man out there is actually looking for a country called Biafra. But let's continue with the news. In a statement he signed, the former PDP spokesman said, Truth be told, the majority of Igbos identify with the uh, uh, with the uh, 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 actualization and underlying the IPOB agi agitation. Okay, well, it's good that you're seeing it. I've witnessed firsthand, I'm quoting him now, I've witnessed firsthand the strong affinity of the majority of Igbos to the fundamental sentiment and anxieties behind the IPOB agitations. I earnestly plead with our elders and the elected leaders of my people to work out ways and means of addressing the IPOB issue. IPOB, under the leadership of Nam De Kano, has been agitating for the creation of Biafra. The group anchored the agitation on the basis of alleged marginalization of the Southeast. Okay. Let's look at this critically. At the beginning, I could still remember when it all began, they were like, it's one of those things, they, after a while, they will calm down. But after a while, they felt, okay, a little forced and they will shy them away. The first came, instead of shying them away, they became more resolute. Okay, by the time we arrest the leader, the, the flock will scatter. By the time they try arresting the leader, the leader left the shores of the country simply because the 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 court the, there was a court case. They didn't allow the court case to flow as I warned you. He had to leave because of threat to life. Now he's actually outside the country. It's as if the the the, the dance just began. Now. I see, they say, okay, maybe as the leader is out, maybe the people in Nigeria, since their leader is not around, maybe they became even much more pronounced. He started having even more international recognition. Diaspora started following. At the beginning, they say, it's one of those things, maybe it's a miscreant. They are one of those miscreants. To their utmost surprise, able men, rich men, men of substance, timber and caliber, are also followers and full scale agitators of the same Biafra. Yes, they say, okay, after a while, the temple will come down. The temple re did not reduce, rather it doubled. Now, with Shagume coming and saying, look, uh, let everybody, now Shagume is saying, these people who are agitating for Odudua Republic and Biafra and Ms. Grant, I have seen heavyweights, as in, we have heard heavyweights talk about Biafra. We saw uh, a Catholic priest 
in the United States and in diaspora actually congratulate Mazin and the Kano over the creation of ESN. They are heavyweight in IPOB. And whether you want to believe in propaganda or not, it does not take away the harsh reality that IPOB exists and those who earnestly desire for bare fertilization, they exist. And every day there's insecurity, there is growth. For every time there's insecurity, the in there's a, a double increase for those who desire their fractalization. They keep getting numbers in quantum. Let's, let's look at our situation. Let's look at ourselves in the mirror and tell ourselves a truth as a people first and as a country next so that we will know where we are at time and solve our problems. Let's start with the fact that there are a quite a number of persons who want BFR to be actualized. Majority is simply because of insecurity, marginalization. These are cardinal rules. We cannot shy away from them. Forget this whole issue of a problem. There's nothing like we keep lying to ourselves, and that's why we are in where we are as a country, the mess we are in. We don't want to tell ourselves the truth. We keep dancing around propaganda. The fact, the figures are staring us in the face. I we don't want to acknowledge it. And that's actually a we actually deceive one of the greatest deceit is the deceit of oneself. We can't look at ourselves in the mirror as a people, as a country, and tell ourselves, look, at this level we have goofed. In leadership, at some point we have goofed. That way we are even uh, at the point of recovery. Now you can't keep saying that um, and you keep squashing them. Look at the traces of how we mismanage crisis and how we have the issues of Boko Haram, how we have the issues of uh, bandits in our hands. Some of them said that even this issue of uh, uh, Amajiri, if they are not even properly handled, that's another, uh, another problem in the future waiting to happen. Now, but the, the issue of IPOP are a people who have over time waited for them to be included into the affairs of the country, but for some reasons they were sidelined. We keep using propaganda. It will not wash it away. It is there. It is staring us in the face every day. You can't pray for a better Nigeria if a particular section of the country is bleeding, if a particular section of the country is crying that they are marginalized. you got to look in that way towards that direction and find out why they are in pain and see how they can be sorted out. Otherwise, we are actually playing to the gallery. Otherwise, we are wasting our own time waiting for a better country. For us to start, we need to look inwards and start. Where have we hurt one another? How do we mend ways? This issue of IPOB, some people are wishing it away. You can't wish it away. You got to find out how to go about this. Call them. Talk to them. Find out why they are, what are their pains and how you can actually solve it. A lot of them right now don't, don't even want solving. They already they are tired. They are asking for a secession. Now that is why uh, Meto, who is actually from Anambra State, is saying this issue of IPOB. South is governors. Don't look elsewhere. If other governors are looking elsewhere, these ones are actually in your jurisdiction. They are in your state. They are in your domain. Look inwards and solve it. Let's put in our conversation. What's your take on what Meto?